Uh, yes, so when paradigms collide. So most of us are used to writing in object-oriented style. Uh, many of us are also used to becoming more used to writing in generic style. Sometimes these paradigms collide. <clears throat> so let's say that you have a class and you write, as I did, a perfectly conventional output stream operator for this class. Nothing wrong with this. Uh, this is exactly what you'd expect. Um, in fact, let's say you have an array of them, and uh, you know I want to print. I want to print them all out. So, no problem. You say, we'll just write uh, range four, and Bob's your uncle. There they are, printed out. Uh, but if you like algorithms, uh, as I do, maybe you want to say for each. Uh, and this is okay. You know, this is okay. But this. Maybe you don't want to print them out now. Maybe you just want to print them out later and you want to make a string of them. So you want to try something like this. Um, make a string stream, put them into that, and then, and then print them out or send them off somewhere else, whatever. This is still fine, except now, now we've got Connor's least favorite anti-pattern because we're initializing string stream and then we're modifying it. So we've got the ITM anti-pattern. Uh, I can't say the string stream is const anymore or the, the underlying string that it produces. In the general case, I don't get RVO here. This is, this is not a good anti-pattern, right? We want to be, try and be more declarative. Okay, well, there's an algorithm for that. I try, I try accumulate, right? And this is actually, you know, this might look a bit strange to use accumulate in this way because we're normally used to thinking of it as summing things up or maybe multiplying things. But it's perfectly fine for the two arguments here to be of different types. And effectively, I'm accumulating the elements into the stream. This is fine. And from C20, accumulate will stood move the value all the way through the computation. So fine, right? I accept this doesn't work because, because our conventionally written output operator is returning not a string stream ref, but an O stream ref, right? The type is wrong here. Because streams use the object-oriented paradigm. You know, string stream derives from O stream. And it's the output operator works in terms of the reference to base. It's object-oriented. Algorithms are not. Algorithms use the generic paradigm. They like to keep the types the same as they move through the calculation. Well, you can't preserve a type if you want to call a function that will return something of a different type. That's the problem. OK, so what can we do? Well, we, can, we need to preserve type information. So you know, just hacking around, I try making it take auto and return auto ref. A good effort, but you know, returning that expression is still going to return an O stream ref. OK, well, you know, this works, because O stream OS comes in as a string stream ref, uh, and we return the right thing. But this is, you know, the clearly some work to do here is under constrained. So I try to constrain it with concepts naturally. Um, can, can write a very simple concept to say if something is outputable, where its output operator returns an O stream ref. And then I want to know, I, I want to use this only for things which are derived from O stream ref, um, which is to say, not things that actually use an O stream ref. Um, but the problem here now is I need to say derived from and not same as, because otherwise you've got a concept that kind of tries to check things in terms of itself and the compiler doesn't like that. Um, <clears throat> and derived from actually, <laughs> derived from is misnamed, right? Because it's based on is base of. And so the Liskov substitution principle tells us that a class is a, sub, is a uh, subclass of itself the subclass or is base of relationship is reflexive because the Liskov substitution principle says that. But we didn't derive the class. Like S isn't derived from S. It is a subclass of S. But that's a different thing from being derived from S. So derived from is wrong here. But anyway, we put in that. And uh, now we can write a wrapper. And we can say, when you give me a sub something, a subclass is O stream and an outputable thing. I can static cast, call the output operator, 
and return the original thing you passed me. And then once you have this wrapper, all of your other operator output operators are conventional for your types. So what's the conclusion here? Well, mixing paradigms is sometimes painful. Um, we're sort of stuck with the streamed interface, but careful, carefully designed concepts can help bridge this gap. I, you know, this is one thing that works um, that I found uh, might help you out. Um, derived from is misnamed. It should be is subclass of, right? Because it's reflexive. Um, and when you're dealing with class hierarchies, you don't really always want reflexive concepts. That's what I found. Thank you very much.